All right, yeah, you're all welcome to this live session again. I still remain your sad food instructor and tutor right here in this channel. And um, today we're going to discuss so many things. Please, if you are just joining for the first time, I need you to please make sure. If you are joining for the first time and if you've been part of this class, I need you to kindly help me share this um, broadcast do that thank you for joining thank you for joining thank you for joining yes kindly share this broadcast please thank you as you are joining keep telling me where you are joining from tell me where you are joining from thank you for joining okay All right, thank you. Please tell me where you're joining from. From Suleja. Oh, that's fine. That this is um shooters bread catfish. <laughs> that name sounds so funny. Yeah. Please, as you are joining, keep telling me where you are joining from. Today is gonna be another interesting moment. And um, we're not gonna take it for granted. All right, thank you. Keep joining, keep joining, keep joining. And as you are joining, kindly click on the like button. All right. Click on the like button. Share the broadcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for joining. It's been quite a while now. Been a while that I come live on the on this platform, All right? But now we hope to stick to our our days of meeting, which is usually every day, 8 p.m. West African time. And um, there are a whole lot that we're gonna we're gonna work on. Okay. joining please keep preparing your questions because after my teaching today I'm gonna to give room for questions all right yes okay asking what is the topic for today all right now i'm going to be teaching on reversible slots okay reversible slots <laughs> and um, i'm not just going to show you the series or we'll at the same time work on the applications all right we're going to walk on Vasi Boost Laws. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
keep joining, keep joining, keep joining, keep joining, keep joining, and try to share this live broadcast to as many as possible. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. It's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. Reversible slows. <laughs> It's gonna be so so interesting. Thank you. Keep joining, keep joining, keep joining. And as you are joining, keep telling us where you are joining from, please. All right. As you are joining, keep telling us where you are joining from. Okay, this is uh Afulabi Toba. Senior man, all right, yeah. Maxi music. All right, you, you all are welcome. You are welcome. You're welcome to this live broadcast. Yes, yeah, somebody, somebody was asking about the topic we are going to trade today. This is Nimu INA joining from Houston, Texas. Oh, that's fine. Thank you for joining. Um, this is um to Ted the King joining from Botswana. All right, yeah, it's nice having you all live. All right, thank you for joining. Um, somebody was asking the topic we are going to treat today, and um, it's going to be an interesting topic, which I thought to be reversible boost laws. Okay. This is Sami Soul. How do you advise? How do you advise? I plan a rehearsal schedule with a job. I'm a lecturer. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're going to talk about this after the session today. So every question will be attended to um, immediately after the class. All questions shall be attended to immediately after the class. All right, keep the question and um, while we work on what we are going to teach today. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time right now. Um, we're going straight to talk about your to talk about the topic we said we are going to work on, which we talk to be reversible laws. All right, yes, reversible laws. Now, this requires two different tasks. Thank you. Please, as you are joining, make sure you like this broadcast and at the same time, try to share this video. Okay? Try to share this video. Try to share the video. Share this broadcast with your friends. Like this session. All right? And prepare your questions ahead. As you are joining, keep telling me where you are joining from. All right? And this is Joel. Greetings from... DRC. Oh, that's Congo, right? Okay, yeah. Thank you for joining. So now, just like I said, I'm going to be teaching on um, reversible laws. Ordinarily, most of us have got to understand what law is, right? And um, when talking about laws, is that technique that allows two closely related notes to be played as one in one beat. I'm going to repeat that again. Slaws is that technique that allows you to play what two closely related notes to be played as one in one beat and um i just need to um, clarify this first before i talk about the reversible laws and how you can make use of them all right now i of course i know most of you um is used to slurs all right slurring technique and um in the same vein there are some other way, there are some other people that doesn't understand what law is. So in order to carry everybody along, I'm going to briefly talk about it. Now, um, and of course, most sonorable notes are, are those um, semitones, right? That you can just work on, like for instance, moving from your B to your C, right? B to C. These are two notes, right? But you cannot just say. B C, but you can say B C, right? B C. This is in, in, in one beat already. If I, when I do B C, this is two beats. But when I say B C, 
I'm not calling BC. <laughs> that is a name like that. That is a that is a Nigerian name like that called BC. But I'm not calling the name BC. This time around. But I'm referring to it in the term of um BC. Alright. BC. BC is different from when I do BC. Alright. Because remember the technique said to be what two notes being played in one beat as if they are one. Alright. BC is different from BC. Alright. Something like this now. Um, alright. It's different from what I do. Okay. This is B C B C. But what I do? That's B C. Alright. Now this is law. Alright, because uh, I've I've been able to achieve that idea of playing two notes as though they are one and one beat, alright? Uh, Mr. Samuel, ah, <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for enjoying the lecture, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. So now, talking about the B to C, this is B, C, all right, but we don't want it in two beats, right? We want it in one beat. So B, C, B, C. Now, in the same vein, we can do C, all right, C sharp to your D, which is going to be what? C sharp D. Sharp D. Now, Bob, because of these notes, because of the calling of these letters, it may not give us that melody. So we're going to be working on notes, two notes of us, right? Now, this, if we're working on the key of C now, for instance, this your B is going to serve as your T, a semitone below your C, right? So we're going to have it as T do. So it's going to be T do, all right? We're not going to refer to it as T do, but T do. All right, like this now. Okay, now uh, the next notable note is now is um, when we play from C sharp to D. Okay, it's not going to be um, delayed now, but it's not going to be delay, but it's going to be what? All right, that's delay. And the next one is when we play from your E flat to your E, which is going to be what? Rimi. Okay. The next one is when you move from your E to F, which is going to be what? Mefa. Okay. And the next notable one is when you play from um, F sharp to your G. Okay. Which is going to be what? Fiso and not just Fi to So. Cream de la cream. Oh, all right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So when I move now by playing Fi to So, it's not going to be Fiso. All right, but it's gonna be fissa because the aim is to have them in one beat. Fissa is the problem when I do fissa. So when I do fissa, that's not a slow. But when I do fissa, that becomes a slow, right? This is just the simple or forward approach to your words to your slow. All right, I remember I'm just talking about this now before we talk about the main deal of the day, which we refer to as what reversible slow. The main topic we are going to talk about now so and the next one is when you do what g sharp to your a which is what zilla zilla and not zilla all right zilla like this all right then the next one is when you move from your what b flat to your b which will give us what 30 and not 30 remember 30 right then now remember when you are going to move from your B to your C, it's not always advisable for you to play like this. T do no. But it's most advisable you hold your B and add your side C to your B. As that will give you your C. Likewise. Param. Param. Not param. Param. No. Alright? Holding your B and add your side C to it. You have it as param, alright? Now, this is one of the challenges um, most students usually have. When you are playing this, your sight um, keys, you hold it down together with any key you are playing. Not that you play like this. This is the problem they usually have. They will play. And that will end up giving you three notes. So when you play, hold it down together with it. It's different from what you do. Okay? Please take note of that. Now, 
going straight to the topic of the day which we okay let me just play that around let me just play around that <laughs> discuss on today which is what reversible loss and as time will permit us we're going to work on the applications as well all right now when we want to work on your reversible loss reversible loss are basically a, 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 um considered on whenever you have a descending note diatonically all right whenever you have a descending note in any musical piece diatonically now, for instance, when I have re do, when I have mi re, remember I said diatonically, meaning when I am going to play fa mi now, I'm not going to play it. Now, but when I'm going to play so fa, I'm going to apply this. When I'm going to play la so, when I'm going to play ti la, I will apply it. But when I'm going to do ti. I'm not going to apply it. Remember, I said they are mostly applied on notes diatonically. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That is whole tones, full tones, or whole notes applicable, applicably, right? You are not going to consider semitones, all right? Because uh, moving from uh, fa to me now is a semitone movement. Moving from do to t now is a, is a semitone movement. But moving from my um, Re to do now, it is what a a whole note or a tone, a tone movement, right? Me to re is a tone movement, right? So to fa is a tone, right? La to so, ti to la as well, right? Now, this is where we are going. If I have a note moving from re to do, already you know that when you are going to re, when you are going to approach re and you want to slow, you are going to play what? Dire. Okay, if you are going to approach a note on the second degree, which is re, you play what? Delay. Now, remember we said we are working on reversible, what? Slots. So, what I'm going to do now, whenever I have re, do in any musical piece, all I need to do is to play delay. Then I'll go back to my D again. I'll go back by semitone. And when I go back by semitone, it will take me back to D again. So, I'll play do. Does that make sense? Yes. Do. You're going to enjoy it by the time we start to work on some leaks and um, at the same time try to apply it on songs. All right. Now, I said when you have re to do now, what you are going to play is to play what? Do. All right. Now, if I have re do in any musical piece, and for me to work on my uh, reversible slots, all I'm going to do is to play what? Does that make sense? So, for me to play re do in any musical piece, I'll play what? That's a, a reversible slot. Okay? Now, and to play me to re now, what I'm going to do is to slow my me. All right, if I slow my me, that's going to be what? Primi. Then I'll take it backward again by semitone, which will take me back to my re again. So I'll have it as primi more. Okay, remember if you're ascending a scale, you call this re, and when you're descending, it becomes more. All right, all right, so I have it as what? Primi more. All right, so 
Whenever I have me right now, I'm going to play what? Remember it. Alright, some of you might have been doing it, but you don't know what you're doing. And you, don't, you cannot explain even the series. What the series entails. Alright, now. Alright, that's for that. Now, to move from your sword to far now. Alright, you're going to play what? Fissa. Already you know to even slow your sword, you're going to play what? Fissa. Then you come back to fee again. Fissa, fifa. Alright, and to play and to move from your la to sol, I'm gonna play what? Zila zisa. Okay. Okay. Please, if you've not liked this video, kindly make sure you click on like button. Alright? Like it, like it, like it. Thank you. So we have it as what? That's zila zisa. Now, when I'm moving from T to La, I'm going to play what? Toti Tola. Now, I want to show you what you're going to do. How you're going to play your tongue in two different ways. Now, I'm going to consider my Bs, right? I will consider my Bs like this. So, I'm, I'm going to have it as what? Toti. Now, am I going to call this to again whenever I'm going down? No. I will have it as what well. 30. I hope it's most advisable you make use of your B's whenever you are ascending to B. All right, that's just you can easily play this para. All right, but when you are moving from your B flat to A, make use of your side B flat. So now I have it as para para as 30 dollar. All right, so this is what I'm going to use now. Okay, yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you. So we have that word. Yeah, that, that's when I have a movement from my T to La. Is that taken? Now, Do T again is a semitone movement. And remember, we don't have any business with that because we said it can be approached diatonically. That is why um, Fa to me, you're not going to consider it. And Do to T, you're not going to consider it. But you refer, you consider your word. Re to do, me to re, alright, so to fa, la to so, t to la. So now I'm going to take it slowly first. Wow, well, what? Re to do, we're going to play. That's what I'm going to use whenever I have a re to do in a descending order, alright? Me to re, I'll play. Re mi more. Alright? Then so to far we play what? That's pifa. Okay. Now la to so we play what? Zla so. Okay. Ti to la we play what? Ti to la. Okay. It's as simple as that. <laughs> please, nobody should abandon his or saxophone. Please, you don't need to abandon it, right? So now I'm going to play. Alright. Alright, that's. Dire di do, di mi mo re, fi so, fi fa, zi la, zi so, to ti to la, dire di do. Alright, now the upper range, now you're going to play what? When I have my open C sharp, alright? Alright. Okay. That's the do tati to la la di so fi so fi fa di mi mo di 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 do. Now I'm gonna play both the ascending and descending order. All right. God bless your love saxophone. This is from when that. Yeah, it's also saxophone. Thank you. All right. So now this is it. And to descend, I'll play. Alright, it is as simple as that. Now look at something like this. 
this is just a lick now that you can just use whenever you want to work out something like Alright, this is another way you can just do that. Now, I don't want to make it too much. I don't want to apply it too much, too much on this particular lick. That's why I have it like this. So I can just play 30 dollars on that song. Alright. Right? As simple as that. This is just a lick you can just play around, right? <laughs> all right no problem no problem we can at the same time work with your budget right just send me a dm send a dm to me on um on my whatsapp number let me just call my whatsapp number in case you don't have it officially plus two three four right plus two three four eight one four four zero five eight five one three all right now that's just a leak like right Okay now, um, I'm gonna do this. Um, um, okay, this song. Just get the melody of the song, and I'm gonna apply it to it. Um, apply this technique to it, and you'll see how it goes. Um, but remember what I said before I go into the application, right? Remember what I said. I said whenever you have three to do, you are gonna play what dire di do, meaning you are gonna substitute what dire di do for what re do. Play do then when you have me way you are gonna play what the me more alright then when you have so far you are gonna play what the so far okay when you have last song you're gonna play what the last so okay when you have tito la you're gonna play what the tito la then redo again that that's it's as simple as that alright now um, we have this song that this song like um okay good okay let me just play this song straight and I'm sure you're gonna know it if you're a Nigerian or if you're a Nigerian living in another country you must be familiar with this um Yoruba song all right If you know the song, help me type it here. <laughs> if you know that song, help me type it on the on the comment section. Alright? Now this is the song. So so la so. Alright? This is the tonic of So so la so. Mi re mi do re do la so. You see? So so la so. Remember, when we have la so, you're gonna play, you're gonna substitute it with what? Zila zi so. Remember? Kosa Barati to da biti Jesus. Yeah, that's the song. Thank you. Pa pa da da pa da 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 da. Now, so so last song. Now I have last song in a descending order. Last song in a descending order diatonically. Last song. Now that's so so. When I have last song, now I'm going to substitute it with what? Zila zila. Now let me let's hear how it's going to sound. 
Can you hear that? That's it, right? That's the main song. But now I'm going to substitute it with the reversible slot by playing what? Can you hear that? Alright. So, 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 so. Sorry. Okay. That's what I'm going to play by playing what? Can you hear that again? Mi do re do. Now, mi do re do. Now, that is the point I want you to consider that idea again. Mi do re do. That re do now, I'm going to play what? Dre di do. Let's hear it now. Alright? And I have la so again. Zla zi so. Now, let's play everything together now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you for helping me out on the song, right? So, this is it again. Can you hear that? That makes sense, right? So, that's so, 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 me do, 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 so, 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 right? Okay, now let me take it again. This is it. Alright. Now. Now. Re, mi, mi, re, re, re. Alright, we have mi, re, re, re. Now, what am I going to do? What, what, what am I supposed to do here? I will play what? Re, mi, mo, re, re, re. Alright. Okay, as simple as that then. Alright. So as loud as you saw. So as loud as you saw. As simple as that. Can you see how you can rightly apply your reversible slots? Okay. I, I was sitting there sitting there sometimes ago and I was like, ah, it sounds like grace note. Yes, it sounds like it, but it's not it. Alright? And um I hope in one of these sessions I'm going to play, I'm going to teach you on um, grace notes and um, I will make you to understand how you have a single, simple approach to grace notes and a complex approach to grace notes and at the same time how you can even use both, alright? Okay, now there is it again. Alright. Nuisances, all right. <laughs> nuances, don't mind them, don't mind them, don't mind my nuances, right? Um, um, what is it called? Hello, I hope you're all following what I'm doing, right? So, that is how you just go around your reversible what slots. Is that okay? Please, if anybody doesn't understand this, kindly indicate and um, I'll see how to go about that with everybody because I want every one of us to follow us correctly. That's the essence of me going live. Alright? Yes, this is a live session that you can ask questions and I will attend to you. 
okay now if anyone is still having problem or challenge with these um, reversible slots please indicate Okay. I'm not going to take much of your time today. I'm not going to take much of your time today. You know, it's been a while. I come live and um, I hope uh, next week, when next day, it's going to be another interesting session. Same time, um, 8 p.m. West African time. And um, we're going to talk, we're going to discuss so many things on that day. And if you have your question now, you can kindly drop it. Uh, so I will make our time to attend to your questions. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> Africa Randa all right you're welcome to this live session I hope you've been following right thank you thank you for joining please what's the best approach to achieving low notes um if you are a beginner, I will tell you to bend like this, like me. Look at me. Look at what I'm going to do. That's the advice I will give to you. Just bend, for, just bend your head directly facing the ground, all right? All right? So just bend like this and blow air directly into the saxophone. That's my low B flat, right? Yes. Okay, now. Thank you. Now, the, somebody asked the question before, and now I want to attend to that question. Now, somebody is a lecturer and is asking how to plan a rehearsal schedule with, with his job. Thank you. It's such a simple um, answer. There is a simple answer to this particular question. All right, and this is the answer. Just like I used to tell most of my students, I used to tell them that just as it's important for you to eat, regardless of your schedule, also make it a date to find out, uh, to make up plans for your rehearsals. Now, you might not have that luxury of time spending a multiple of hours in rehearsals all the time. But at least make it a routine. Like maybe um, you can just tell yourself, okay, out of my busy schedules, even if it's just 20 minutes, yes, it's better. There's no how busy you can be, it could be that um, you will not have at least 20 minutes out of your busy schedules all right so just make out plans 
make out time to see that you give attention to your musical instruments just remember just as it is important for you to eat also make it a, a point of duty or make out plans to always schedule time for your for your rehearsals all right i'm still waiting for questions so i want to believe everybody on that everybody followed well on what i on what we've just discussed okay but well, that's fine i'm happy so that particular song is just um we just use that as a case study right you can come up with many other songs on your own right think of songs in a descending order that technically and try to apply this technique to them okay somebody's requesting for my whatsapp number okay let me let me let me let me call it again now here i have here is my whatsapp number plus two three four eight one four four zero five eight five one three plus two three four eight one four four zero five eight and um for your information i just um published a tutorial course on udemy right i have i have a course on complete beginners course right and um both for both yeah i have another one on um, intermediate and advanced i have optimal saxophone scale syllabus part one and another one optimal saxophone scale syllabus part two so there are four different courses now on udemy that you can lay hold on to to make sure to make sure you you improve on your saxophone there are video courses yes there are video courses and they will go a long way to help you there are video courses on udemy right um if you want it just send me a dm on my whatsapp i will share the link with you and you just go straight um get yours right let me make uh, let me call my number again i said plus two three four eight one four four zero five eight five one three okay somebody said he didn't really get it on his saxo or soprano saxophone send a dm to me and um, we'll talk about that i want to believe you will know you know that um they say you are not having the same um key on the auto saxophone with your with your soprano all right yes on your soprano now you are supposed to be playing um f so you can't be playing c while i'm playing c no you'll be playing f and they will sound alike all right Somebody is asking how can how can I overcome stage fright? Um, it's something that you can work on. Number one, be conscious of what you are going to do on the stage and not the audience. Yes, I can be facing an audience now. I can be facing a, a, a large crowd, a large multitude of people now. Yet I'm not looking at them. Do you understand that I can be facing, I can be looking at you, and yet I don't have anything, any contact with you. 
if you are that type of person that is having stage fright, frightening, don't look directly into anybody's eyeball. All right? You can just be looking like this and be doing your thing before you know it. And of course, sometimes you can even be closing your eyes as the spirit leads. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes and do your thing and leave the place. All right? Just be conscious of what you are going there to do and, um, and leave the stage. Okay, you are a beginner also. That's fine. No problem. Can you read me, sir? Do you mean teach or read? I don't know. Oh, Lucia, go. I don't, I don't get your question, please. Okay. Somebody is asking... How can I apply skill on songs? Yes. <laughs> and it is this is quite um this is um this is why you need um a master class session. Alright. You need a master class session on that. But especially when it comes to improvisation sessions. You see, some of these five minutes uh YouTube tutorials you see may not be able to guide you well, just like I used to say. Okay, you you most definitely need a one-on-one -on -one intensive class session or a master class session where you have yes. So that's why I'm there for every one of you there. In case you don't have my number, pick out my number. Um, from the description box, or I will call it for you now, right? Plus 234-8144058513. Just send me a DM on my WhatsApp, and we'll talk about that. Okay? <laughs> How can I apply skill? I, I love that question. There are several people, so many people know skills, but when it comes to application, it becomes a problem. And, um... I'm not just going to teach you how to apply it. I'll also teach you how you can come up with so many leaks and phrases. All right? You on your own, you'll be coming up with leaks. And um, you'll be applying them on songs. Okay? All right? I'm still waiting for questions, please. And by next week, I need you to come up with as many questions as possible. Yes, as many as possible. I'm still here for you. I'm still here for your question. Please, your number again. Okay. Plus two, three, four. Eight, one. Four, four. Zero, five, eight. Five, one, three. Okay. And of course, you can sign up for my intensive one on one master class session where you will have enough time with me one on one. Of course, and uh, you can even call me anytime. Maybe you are practicing on your own and something happened along the line. So you, you are always free to reach out to me. Because um, we are already a student by then. Yeah, what a good news. That's a good one. Somebody is testifying to the technique I just shared. He said, I just pick up my sax and try the low notes. And he got it. That's fine. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, it will definitely work. So that's just we have many secrets to a lot of things by experience. Okay. And hopefully 
you will get to know many other things. That's it. Okay, yeah, no problem. You can always send me a text. Send me a message on my WhatsApp. Yes. Yeah, I'll be there to respond to your questions or message, anything at all. <laughs> yes. To sign up for my one on one intensive session, just like I said, you can send a DM or call this number plus two three four eight one four four zero five eight five one three. Is that okay? Thank you. So by next week, Wednesday, same time, we are gonna meet live on this platform. And um, we'll see how we take it further. All right? Thank you. There are so many things you need to know. And um, I'm willing and ready to share with you. Thank you for joining in this live session. And hope to see you next week, Wednesday. Same time, same station, same tutor. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye. Is